I'm hoping I'm, well, no, not hoping if it's recording, but it is recording. But, um, I was going to do an intro this for like episode 12, right? And what is it? I was trying to uh, attach it to like the, the phone mount on here, but I think I need to find like a whole different type of phone mount to like start recording in my car just like this. Because the one that I got is like literally just for a car mount, like right here. Because if not, it dangles because I got the mic right here. All right, enough of that though. But I just got done watching, I think the boy and the uh, heron, heron, something like that. It's like the boy and the, and the bird, some some shit like that, right? And I don't know why. I guess I wanted to like include this in a video now, just because. I guess I wanted more like a self-talk, mainly for me, but if you, like, you guys are going to listen, of course, or whoever's watching this, but, like, I watched that movie, and at first, it was, like, kind of mind-fucking, because it was, like, it was just going everywhere, like, like, I didn't really quite understand it a little bit, and I guess I, I, I like, kind of still don't, but this is, like, kind of my perspective of it, but, man, that movie was just, like, it, it, it was different, um, so it was basically talking about the boy, like, about this kid, right? and it talks about like him coping with the mother of his death right and he has like a stepmom basically right and he has his uh new mom coming in like um that the dad had met and he was still kind of coping with the death of his mom and he wasn't really accepting his lady as his own mother you know what i mean like i i, I think that's the point right but to what i'm getting at is like so basically he's like going through this journey in his movie and I feel like the concept that I got from it, like the perspective I got from it was like kind of just moving forward, you know, like that, that's what I kind of got. That's what I felt from like throughout the whole movie, like the way this kid just kept going and going and he wasn't looking back one bit. Like he was like, he had a goal set in mind, basically. He was like, and the goal was, was like, uh, like the, uh, this bird was like, you looking for your mom? It's like, man, your mom's still alive. Like, let's go look for it, right? And, of course, she wasn't alive. Like, she was dead, right? But it was basically, like, a sense of him, like, coping the death of his mother, that which he still hasn't achieved yet, right? And so, therefore, he, he goes on to this journey. And that whole journey, it just felt like him just moving forward and forward and forward. Like, he had obstacles. I'm talking about obstacles, like, crazy shit. Even now, I'm like, how the fuck is this motherfucker, like, still alive, right? And this is a little kid, right? And of course, this is just a, it's an animated film. But like, the more I'm watching this, he wasn't looking back once, right? He just kept kept moving forward, and he has so many obstacles in front of him that like, shit. Even me, like, like the way he's he was going about it, it was like he was not giving up. You know what I mean? Like he was like, I'm bound to like cope with this if that makes sense. And I, I was like so envious of that. Like, like wow, like th that's crazy. Like, like I, I suggest just watching the movie, but. The whole thing that I got from the movie was just, like, kind of moving forward. And I feel like I kind of needed this, in a sense. Because, freaking, I've been going through, not a lot, all right? I haven't gone through a lot because there's a lot more other people who can, like, go on more shit. But still recognize, like, your own feelings and the lessons that's going around inside your life, right? And the lesson lately is just, like, shit is temporary, I feel like, if that makes sense. But, so, like, my job, right? Like, recently... I had got letting go of my job. And normally I'm like, oh, fuck, man, I'm sad, I'm sad. Now, of course, you're going to feel that way. You have feelings, right? But you ha you have a responsibility of your own actions and your own feelings. And there's two ways you can always look at it. There's a way of, like, negative and there's a positive way to look at it. And the way I'm kind of looking at it right now is, like, positive. Because, honestly, the place where I was working at, it was kind of unhappy. But that's, like, with really any job, right? Like, the typical 9 to 5. And a lot of us don't want to do that. And specifically me, like, I, choose, I I don't want that. But, of course, you also need to come to the realization that this is the foundation first. You know what I mean? Like, this is where the story begins. And I feel like I haven't really coped with that. You know what I mean? Like, I guess for a while, I was just, like, trying to rush the journey. You know what I mean? Like, like, like everybody else, man, I want this quick. I want this fast. But no, that that's not how it works. And for, and for some reason, people, that is. And and for some of those people, they can keep going with it. But sometimes they can just lose it all, you know. But for me, like I was so fixated on like, and I, I guess I'm still kind of am. Like I'm still trying to cope with it, right? Of like, 
man, I, I, I want, like, not, blo- like, like, I want to blow up, right, like, oh, I want to do this, but it's not going to come, you know what I mean, like, it, like, it's not going to come right now, it might not come ever, but, I don't know, it, it, it's weird, like, all I know is it's not going to come right now, right, and I just got to be patient with that, you know what I mean, and on the way of this journey, and on the way of, like, in, improving, I guess, or, yeah, improving, and seeking growth with not just this, but with me, you know, and, like, just, I don't know, man, uh, it's so hard to explain to you guys, I don't know, but I guess the whole thing I'm getting about is, like, just keep moving forward and enjoy the journey, right, the enjoying journey part I didn't get from the movie, but this, this is where I've been getting that lately, but, like, the keep moving, uh, keep moving forward part, you know, like, he, like, that kid is basically, is basically what my mentor was telling me, right, is, um, still grasp your feelings, you know, like, like, he was telling me to brush off my feelings, right, but it's not just brush them off, you can't just, I mean, you can just do that, but at the same time, are you, are you okay with yourself after that, like, I, I feel like I'm not, and so, the way I go about it is, like, grasp those feelings, right, not learn about it, because if I learn about it, I'm gonna just keep rethinking about the whole thing, so just grasp the feelings and go with it, you know, take responsibility for my uh, feelings and then move forward. But yeah, that's that. I guess that's. I'm, I'm just going on a rampage right now. But that's where I kind of got the gist of the whole movie. It was just this kid, man. And, and of course, the animated film. But this kid, bro, he just kept moving forward, and it was like. And I'm t- and like, I suggest you guys watch it. And it, it's, it's kind of like a little bit of a mind fuck because it's like, especially like the art display on it. Like you know what I mean. And it was some shit that I've never seen before. And the the person who wrote about this is like. Like, how the fuck does that come to your mind? You know what I mean? Like, it was beautiful, bro. Like, it was, it was stunning. But, yeah, I guess just from the whole movie, keep moving forward. Oh, man, that movie was dope. But, yeah, I guess I just wanted to share with that with you guys. I just wanted to post this. I just wanted to post this video right here. Because I haven't really gone to a movie by myself in a while. And I suggest you guys do something similar to that. You know, like, take yourself out. Take, uh, like, go on a date with yourself. What I used to do a lot up there in Denver, and it was awesome, like, because, you know, there were some times where I was, like, not feeling quite good about myself, or I just felt lonely, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't, comf- I w- I wasn't comfortable with uh, accepting the fact that I'm alone, if that makes sense, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm not alone in the sense, like, I was, like, outside, outside of work, if that makes sense, I don't know, like, I got friends, I got family, of course, but, like, at the end of the day, like, it's just me, you know what I'm saying, I don't have a lady, I don't, I'm going to be careful for that right now. But, like, sometimes it does get to you. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, shit, it's easy. Like, no, nah, I get lonely. But I feel like those times is where, like, I should start taking myself out more. You know, and I should start learning myself more. Because you're never going to stop self-loving yourself, you know. And that's one thing I had to learn because, like I was telling my mentor, um, when I first moved up to, uh, when I first moved up to Denver, I just thought self-love was, like, you know, starting to listen to yourself and doing the things that you want to do, but that's just, like, the first part, you know, like, there's, like, you're barely digging into that rabbit hole, and there's just so much more, and so, I guess, I guess I'm still trying to embrace that a little bit, and that's one thing I'm trying to enjoy, like, about this journey, I guess, just having fun with this, just having fun with anything, too, like, especially, like, with the gym, man, I love the gym, like, I love that body uh, building, uh, like, pursue route if that makes sense like i love lifting like i don't know maybe i want to compete like i do want to compete let's get that out there right and but it's not just that like i want to do so many things but i guess just like one foot in uh one foot in front of the other just enjoy the time that i got right now you know what i'm saying and like i don't know learn on the way ahead i don't know i'm 21 man still learning but what is it like, with the bodybuilding, this is what I was telling my friend yesterday, is that, like, man, I, I wanted to do basketball, like, for my YouTube stuff, right? If you saw my previous video, this is what I was talking about. And I wanted to, like, do this basketball YouTube shit or whatever. Like, that, that that's what I really got into. And what is it? But I stopped hooping for a while because I just got so into lifting. And what I'm realizing, though, is that, like, man, I love basketball still. So I was asking myself, like, what what are my goals? What do I want to achieve, you know? And so I guess I just got to sit down with myself, like really sit down and ask myself, what goals are in my mind, right? Like the ones that I want to pursue. 
and how am I going to do it and what foundation should I start laying out for it if that makes sense so I'm going to just say fuck it and do whatever you know like do whatever I love to do because I mean of course I want you guys to watch this right at the end of the day whenever I post a video it's to blow up right of course but at the same time if I just keep fixating on that, like, you know, just focusing about that, I'm I'm truly not going to be happy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm truly not going to enjoy the things that I want to enjoy. Like, lifting, I was just trying to make that into, like, I got to make sure I post this, I got to make sure I post. Like, no, like, that's something I love doing. Let me display it out here and just post it and show it out to the world. Simple as that. And if it gets loved, then it gets loved. Then it doesn't, doesn't. And then day, I love it. So who gives a fuck? But, um, yeah, enough me yip yapping. This is all I wanted to talk about. Watch it. The Boy and the Heron. It's a good ass movie, man. I... No words. But yeah. Alright, man. Make sure to like and subscribe. I love you guys, man. Peace.